In this video, I'll show you how to create spooky Halloween lighting in a small home studio. Hello, I'm Gavin Hoey, and you're watching Adorama TV, brought to you by Adorama, the camera store that's got everything for us photographers, and it's that time of year. Halloween is right around the corner, which means I get to turn my small home studio into something just a little bit more creepy. This year, I've gone for a chemist or alchemist or apothecary style setup. Well, I say that, but actually what I've got is one of our old tabletops, one or two old bottles, quite a few new bottles, but with stickers and filled with coloured water. So for this to appear creepy, it's all about the lighting. And I'll take you through that step by step. So let's get some light set. Let's get a model in. Let's get shooting. So to help me out today, I've got the amazing Sophie. Sophie is going to be the model for this. And as you can see, she is dressed as an apothecary, sort of chemist, sort of alchemist kind of look, which fits in with the little scene we built in my small home studio. Now the lighting for this is going to be very different to the light that you can see now. I want this to be much more edgy and dramatic and much harder light sources. And I'm going to kick off with a speed light. Now my speed light is going to light Sophie through the lantern. I want to give this the illusion that the lantern is actually working. It doesn't work, it's got lots of holes in, it's quite dangerous. So I'm going to tuck this just in behind. Now you might notice that this speed light is hidden by a whole bunch of bottles. That's not a mistake, that's all part of the planning because I don't want the speed light to be in the picture and these bottles, well, they just hide the fact that this is being lit by a speed light and not a real lantern. Okay, let's take a test shot, see how this looks. Here we go. So that looks really good. We've got directional light, but if it really was lit by a flame, it would have a much more warmer orange tone. So to recreate that, all I'm gonna do is get a piece of orange gel, pop it in front of the speed light and put the little diffusing cap back on as well, put it back into place and take the same shot. Now, the gel will act a bit like a pair of sunglasses, so I'm gonna adjust my exposure just a tiny little bit brighter and let's take that shot. Okay, here we go, quick test shot. And yeah, that works really well. It does indeed look like that lantern is lit and it is lit with a flame. Now we've got quite a large shadow area on this side of the setup. So to put a little wash of light in here, I'm gonna add a second light. Now it could be any light, it could be a speed light, but I'm using the Explore 400 and I've just got a standard reflector in here. So let's just see how this looks. Here we go. So that looks okay, but it doesn't really have the mood that I'm after. So to get a bit more dramatic directional light, I'm actually gonna use one of these. So this is a honeycomb grid. It's a really tight one, 10 degree grid. And I'm gonna pop that into the reflector. Now there is a reason I'm using the Explore 400, and that's because it has a modeling lamp, which allows me to direct the light with much more accuracy when I turn off the video lights. Now, once again, that will take away some of the light. So I'm gonna adjust my exposure to compensate for that. Let's take a test picture, see how it looks. So this is getting better. Now we've got some mood in the picture, but it doesn't quite have the creepy feel that I'm after. So to achieve that, I've added one more thing to this light. It is a green gel, and that should add a nice sort of green glow to everything that it touches. So let's see how this looks. Oh, once again, you may need to adjust your exposure when you've added the gel. That's great. Looks really good. So this has come together really well. I like the mood, I like the spooky feeling. All we need to do now is to give Sophie some props and we'll take a few pictures. So Sophie, are you ready? Yep. Okay, let's see what we can find you. Start off with this lovely book. Here we go. Okay. That's good. Turn in towards that light. Get 
yourself sorted out, take your time. <laughs> I know, there's not enough room. <laughs> If you've seen my previous videos, then you probably know where this is going to go because what makes everything better in a studio is smoke. And this scene is just crying out for a bit of smoke from my smoke machine. Now I can't just fill the area with smoke, you have to backlight smoke. So I've got a third light, this is an Evolve 200 and this is going to go right in behind Sophie. Now the power for this is likely to change as we apply more smoke to the scene. Smoke acts like a massive softbox, so it does take away a bit of control, so you have to be ready to adjust your settings as you're shooting. So let's get Sam in doing smoke duty and let's take some pictures. Bring on the smoke. There we go, Sophie. I need just a hint of smoke, just a little bit of smoke right behind Sophie. Just a little to your left as you do it. That's it. No secret that I love using the smoke machine in my small home studio, but when it comes to Halloween, nothing says creepy like a little bit of smoke. Now if you've enjoyed this video or you've got any questions, leave me a comment below. Click on the bell icon to get regular notifications of all the brand new videos right here on Adorama TV and of course, click on that subscribe button. I'm Gavin Hoey, thanks for watching.